Hi there, that's my laptop which has built-in speakers. Like many other laptops, the built-in speakers are quite limited. To solve this issue, I decided to get myself external speakers. And the ones I chose are the Edifier G2000. Do you want to know more about them? Yes! Then watch this video. Let's begin. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Original Video Reviews. I'm the OVR guy and in this video I'm going to talk with you about the Edifier G2000 gaming speakers. I'm a big Edifier supporter, I love their audio products, both the headsets and the speakers that I got over the years proved to be reliable and offers an excellent value for money. In this video we're going to see if these speakers live up to the expectations and the good reputation of Edifier and I will answer all of the questions regarding these speakers. So first let's see what's included inside the package. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, some people like it while others don't. I really want to know what you think about it, so let me know that in the comments to this video. Here's a brief demonstration of the G2000 in action. If you want to keep listening to the Edifier G2000, then I uploaded an additional video with a longer demonstration of these speakers. The link is in the description of this video and on my website originalvideoreviews.com. Now let's proceed and see what was inside the package. First we have two speakers, the one with the control buttons on the right and the connectors at the back is the active speaker while the other is the passive speaker. In addition to that there is a power adapter, a USB to USB cable that is 1.2 meters long, a male to male 3.5 millimeter cable that is 1.3 meters long and a user manual in several languages including in English that you can find in my full review on my website originalvideoreviews.com. The G2000 are relatively compact, you can see them next to my 15.6 inch laptop and have a good indication of their proportions. The speaker cabinets are from plastic that looks and feels good, but when you touch the plastic surface it leaves noticeable fingerprints and because it has manual control you might touch it often. In the center front is located a 2.75 inches woofer with the H symbol on it. From what I know the H is for Hecate, a series of edifier products intended for gaming. The RGB lights are located towards the back of the speakers so the light reflects on the surface behind it. This adds to the overall atmosphere in the room but the light isn't too dominant. You can choose between 12 light modes and if you don't want any of them then turn the light off. Setting up the speakers and operating them is easy, let me show you. To turn on the speakers first you need to plug in the power adapter into this connector. When you turn the speakers on and off they make this awesome engine sound but it can become annoying at some point. A short press on the power button will switch between the available connections. Bluetooth input. The G2000 Bluetooth version is 4.2. I didn't notice any latency in the sound and I almost didn't encounter disturbances in the audio streaming. Aux input. That's the aux input if you're planning to use it. USB input. And that's the USB input if you're planning to play audio from your computer. But keep in mind that it doesn't replace the power adapter. 
that's the volume switch. Let's talk about the sound that these speakers generate. According to Edifier, the overall power output of the G2000 is 16 watts RMS and the overall peak power is 32 watts RMS. If we translate these numbers into real life, I would say that the G2000 will fit nicely in a standard bedroom or a small living room. It fills the whole room with sound and the volume level is noticeable in the room itself and in the rooms next to it. The bass sounds great up to 70 to 80 percent of the volume level, but I don't recommend you to raise the volume level higher than that because the bass will sound bad. However, you can add to this setup a subwoofer so there's no need to stretch these speakers. If you plan on getting a matching subwoofer, the Edifier T5 can be a good option for you, but you can use a subwoofer from a different brand. A short press on the lower button will switch between three sound modes. Movie mode. Music mode. Game mode. And a long press on the lower button will switch between the 12 light modes. Now let's go to the bottom line. The more I look at the Edifier G2000, the more I like these speakers. Although the G2000 eyes gaming users, especially with the LED lights, the overall design is practical and not exaggerated, which makes the G2000 relevant to other potential users. The G2000 isn't cheap and doesn't have a wireless remote control, but it exceeded my initial expectations. You can find cheaper computer speakers, however, I'm not sure how many of them combine good audio quality with a wireless Bluetooth connection. In the price range of the G2000, you can find other wireless speakers, including by Edifier. But if you look for designated wireless computer speakers and you don't have to be a gamer for that, right? Then I'm sure you will love the G2000. Well, boys and girls, this was my video review of the Edifier G2000 gaming speakers. For more details about them, please read the full review on my website, www.originalvideoreviews.com. If you have any questions regarding these speakers, please comment on this video and I will do my best to help you with that. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to give it a like. Also, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on the other social media and visit my website originalvideoreviews.com. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.